It's an ambitious project. Li Li intends to paint every species of bird living in China. There are about 1,300 in all, and so far he's completed about 100 paintings. Once finished, he intends to organize exhibitions of his work to educate the public about the need for animal protection. I put the money I earn from my paintings towards the protection of animals. Why? Because animals, plants and nature inspire me. I must thank them. And the best way to do so is to help protect them. Once a week, he and a team of fellow volunteers head to the mountains around Beijing. In winter, their main mission is to ensure that the black storks have enough food to eat. The birds that pass through here come from Russia. Only 2,000 remain in the world, and half of them are in China. This river is called Juma. The dam stops the water flowing downstream, so what we do is create a pool of water, which freezes. Then we break the ice and put fish and shrimp inside. That way, the birds will not die. Li Li and his team are supported by the Wildlife Conservation Society, an American NGO based in New York. Using GPS units provided by the society, they are able to record precise details relating to the birds and wildlife in the region. They also intend to educate local residents so that they will stop hunting games such as storks and wild roosters, which make for popular dishes in restaurants that cater to tourists. When I see an injured animal saved, healed and in the wild again, that's when I'm the happiest. As a result of the conservation efforts along the Juma River, the population of black storks, reduced to just a few in the year 2000, is now back to up to about 20. Li Li hopes that after years of careless indifference to environmental degradation, his generation will be the one that sounds an important ecological wake-up call.